the game plan was definitely to see if we can go either in to out or out to in uh, around their their wide forward. Um, they sat very very deep. We didn't get the room we actually looked for between the two lines. Um, when we got it in there, we didn't have uh, space enough to actually turn on the pass, and there was a little bit uh, too slow, so the, their center back was stepping onto us. Um, and then we needed someone to break a line, and maybe <laughs> there isn't anyone better than than Diane Rose to 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 make sure that we do break a line. So when she came on, the game was a little bit more stretched. We had play, uh, room to play in behind. We got her in behind a few times, and then all of a sudden we also found some of these players um, turning on the inside. Uh, so she definitely had a, a significant impact on on uh, the result at the end. Coach, coach, two questions if I may. Um, you've outscored teams 23 to not, nothing in this tournament. You're playing really well, and I'm wondering about your confidence going into Sunday against, uh, which we assume might be the US, maybe Mexico. But then beyond that, you have qualified for Tokyo. Uh, you finished third in the last, or Canada did in the last two Olympics. Is it time to take that next step, you know what I mean? Now that you've secured your spot as a, a podium finisher, is it time to take that next step? Are you ready for that? Yeah, I think we are. I think that's what the team are looking for right now. Um, like ever since we came out of the of the World Cup, we've been setting new goals, and um, like we definitely looked a little bit beyond the the qualifying because we want to be uh, at the podium again. I, I do think that we got the uh, the team for it. Um, I think our performance in this tournament has, has been kind of consistent. There's something about the performance today where you go, ah, oh. but you can tell that the the players definitely brought some nerves on on the pitch. Um, but I think at the end of the day, it's a short tournament this summer. Uh, I think we can, when we play anyone in the world, we've got the chance to, to win. And, and that's how good the team is. But we also know the small things can have a big impact. So it's making sure that we're ready for like, taking care of the small things and, and continue the path we're on. Really chippy game out there, and I think uh, you guys had a little bit of trouble breaking it down, especially in that first half. What did you tell the players to change that mentality going into the locker room, and especially considering this is such a young Canadian team? Well, we talked about like our structure and our formation. We want to keep it like for 15 minutes more to see if we can find. Um, we, we started to look for an earlier cross uh, when our wide center backs to the players uh, to the, took the ball up because there were so many players across the pitch, and there was definitely room for a for a chip in back shoulder opposite side center back um but we couldn't find it like we couldn't get it in we couldn't get it over we, we didn't have the players there so we, we took the consequence from the bench and said we need to f to find a way to, to to get into another structure and as i said like getting other kind of uh, players with other with different skill set uh, on the pitch and and um, like Deanne, the first match she played here she was on fire and i think she definitely lit the fire again uh, today when she ended the pitch